मैं सबसे पहले प्रोफेसर वी रामकृष्ण साहब को दावत सबक़त देना चाह रही हूँ I deem it as a privilege to say a few words about this book, the socio-cultural history of Hyderabad. I am happy that the Consul General of the Islamic Republic of Iran is releasing this book this morning. because as you all know that the well established historical cultural relations between hyderabad state and iran are well known to all of us and also we are releasing this book at a very critical juncture not only in the history of andhra pradesh when the future of this state hangs in balance including the city of hyderabad i have to say this because this book deals with the society and culture of um, of hyderabad hyderabad is the capital city of the state of andhra pradesh but it's not only the capital city of andhra pradesh but hyderabad has a very special place it has made a mark in the whole country as a very unique city with its own culture for the last uh, nearly two decades we have been experiencing in this country the erosion of our native cultures uh this is not only because of the changing times changing values changing perspectives of the people but also as you know very well that this country of ours is experiencing the impact of globalization under this impact there is an attempt to homogenize cultures but india is a land of uh, different cultures a land of uh, multicultural traditions a land of pluralistic culture from the times immemorial from the times when the aryans visited our country and settled here we have developed a culture which is all pervasive which is all comprehensive and against this onslaught on our culture what are we supposed to do could we safeguard our culture could we retain our culture intact in the coming years or should we also become like the global economy today a part of the global culture that is the problem confronting us so at this very crucial critical historical moment a book on the socio cultural history of hyderabad is very much welcome i had an occasion to go through this book uh and also have gone through the contents of this book and i will be very brief in my comments this book is divided into two parts part a and b part a and b both these parts consist of 20 chapters and broadly i have divided these chapters into a education and uh, b women because this is a very interesting book written by a lady 
a respectable lady of this university, that she has devoted more or less half the book for discussing issues involving women, women of uh, the Hyderabad city in general and women also of particular, uh, you know, Islamic uh, faith. The historical perspective of women in India is a very interesting chapter of this book. It provides a, a broad backdrop of uh, how women have evolved, evolved through the history, through various facets of history, and then how the status of women has changed in this long evolution of women in this country into the present status. And more interestingly, she discussed the women of Qutub Shahi dynasty. It's a very interesting piece. As you know, Qutub Shahis laid the foundations of what you call Dekhani culture, which was later on developed by Asaf Jas. But Qutub Shahis laid the real foundations of the Dekhani culture. I mean, you, you can you can say that they were the real pioneers of the multiculturalism that we see today in Deccan, in the city of Hyderabad. I am very proud of this Qutub Shahi dynasty. As a student of history, I had an occasion to talk to my students about the culture of Qutub Shahi, how they contrib contributed to the development of a religion, not one religion, that is the, that is the greatness of Qutub Shahi, like Asaf Jahis, not one religion, all religions. If you, if you look at the geographical placement of Deccan today, it is neither in the north nor in the south. It is in a very crucial geographical place where all cultures have come here and met and created a confluence of cultures, a multiculturalism, which we should all be proud of, which the city of Hyderabad is a representative of this multiculturalism today. And that's why you know the significance of this book. So the prominent uh, women of Qutub Shahi dynasty, and then uh, Tasin Bilgrami's own family, the noble family, she talks about the Bilgrami ladies. It's slightly autobiographical, slightly biographical, whatever is, it is, and also a chapter on, him, on the Hyderabad Muslim women. So it is biased towards women. There is so much information that we get in this book about the status of women, the evolution of women to the present status, and also the Qutub Shahi uh, royal women and so on. Then the second important aspect of this book is education, which is very important as you know. Education, I don't know why he, she really chose these chapters, because education as you know is a major tool, a major instrument for social change. And the significance of education, she gave an historical review of uh, education in this country. And then what is interesting here is that education for modernization. I mean, this is a, this is a, this is a word which you know, sociologists are very fond of using, social uh, modernization, not westernization, but modernization and uh, how education really contributed to the modernization of, uh, say, this part of the country, namely the city of Hyderabad, and the reforms of Bilgramis, the family of Bilgramis, in the field of education and their reflections on education. Broadly, this is the, uh, this is a book, this is a nutshell. Of course, one can speak about this book for any, uh, I mean, lot of time. But broadly, these are the contents of this book. And uh, what I feel uh, is that Tasin Bilgrami deserves our compliments for putting together her articles, especially on society and culture, because culture is a part of the society, and culture influences society. 
culture gives a direction to the society and in deccan you you see she she talks about kusin she talks about the festivals she I mean there's a very interesting uh, chapter in i think uh, part a this is cultural synthesis of hyderabad this is a very interesting chapter the, the, it gives a, a picture an overall bird's eye view of the city of hyderabad how there is a cultural synthesis so while congratulating uh, tasin bilgrami for her interesting work i will also suggest to her for her next assignment why not she talk about the culture of the she talked about the elite culture there is a second stream of culture also very interesting culture in the city of hyderabad this is the folk culture the culture of the not so much of the elites but the culture of the unprivileged the culture of those who have come and you know settled in the city from say the telangana districts or andhra districts or from far off from the north and the south so that will be a very interesting assignment for her i am sure that she will uh, bestow her attention on this and lastly i would like to say since i was introduced as the editor of the comprehensive history of uh, culture of andhra pradesh we are bringing out eight volumes of this history so far andhra pradesh does not have a comprehensive history and we have brought about four volumes so far and uh, we need lot of help from the uh, urdu university maulana abul kalam azad muslim uh, university and we have already have about four to about five to six chapters from one of our faculty your faculty members here dr salma farooqi who was our student and she has contributed largely to the volume on the qutub shahis bahmanis and the moguls in the uh, in the deccan and I, i wish more and more scholars would come forward to contribute to these volumes and i i, I just thank all of you for giving me this opportunity to participate in this function and talk about the book thank you very much i don't have much time and i'm aware of it therefore leaving the introduction off i would like to start my speech right from the beginning my submission in the beginning is this that slowly the teaching staff members of the universities are drifting away from the research maybe there are many factors for it and one may be the promotion taking in account the service and not the research work my submission to the professors here is this that one who enters in university as a teaching member has two responsibilities one to teach well in the class for which he has to study himself keep himself up to the day be aware of the research works coming into the market so that he can fulfill his responsibility in the class and the second very important responsibility is to research write research papers publish the books attend the seminars present research papers in the seminars take part in the discussion in and outside the country this is very important and i'm happy to declare here that at least four of my phd scholars have taken up research seriously one of them is tahseen bilgram without taking much of your time i must tell you this that tahseen when came to me for her topic i said why don't you work on bilgramis because bilgramis have contributed very richly to the progress of education progress of culture and even their contribution in the religious culture of hyderabad is very very dominant very 
rich. I happen to know Taseen Bilgrami's grandfather, Ali Azgar Bilgrami. I had a, an opportunity of attending few of his uh, committees, which was formed to celebrate Seez Dasar Sala, birthday of Hazrat Ali. He was a prominent historian himself, a man of principle, very disciplined himself. And in his presence, nobody had guts even to break the laws or misbehave in the meeting. I must tell you this, I know a large number of Bilgramis in Hyderabad because I have been living in the same locality as Bilgramis. It's they who have kept their identity alive on one hand and contributed richly to the progress of Hyderabadi culture. As I have been working for a long, very long time on Iranian impact on Hyderabadi culture, on Hyderabadi architecture, literature, art, that this has been my subject right from the beginning of my research. My submission to you is very few people note this that the Hyderabadi culture was based on human values and they had much ease to contribute to the culture because these two kingdoms in Deccan had had the same religion as they had. Their contribution was rich. My, what I am trying to say is, they came to Deccan not as conquerors. Most foreigners came to India as conquerors. Iranians did not come to India as conquerors. There was no invasion of Iran army in India. They came here, they were not only soldiers, but they were architects, they were planners, they were ulemas, they were poets, writers. They came to India and contributed in the progress of Dakni culture. It's very interesting to note that while there was a culture in North India, there was another in Deccan. Many historians get confused that it is the expansion of North Indian culture which have occupied Hyderabad. My submission is this, that no, these two cultures developed independently without having a relation. But because both have in the foundation the Iranian culture, so there are similarities between the Dakhni culture and in North. In North India, the Iranian came along with Humayun. Because Humayun had artillery of Iran when he entered India. In Dakhan there was no army. The Iranian came in large number and contributed richly here. I have worked on it. My postdoctorate research is on Iranian contribution to Dakhan. The name my book has already been published, Iranian Afaqi's contribution to the Qutub Shahi and Adil Shahi kingdoms. In this book, I have taken different chapters and written in detail. I will cut short my speech and say that I was trying all the time while I was in Hyderabad that we must work about the medieval history of India, of Dakar. What is happening right now is that they come up to Kakatiya, go to Vijayanagar Kingdom and enter the modern history of Hyderabad. 
without the history of the five sultanates which were formed after the downfall of Bahmani kingdom. The history, the study of the history of medieval Dakkan is not complete, com it cannot be studied, cannot be understood. But unfortunately, all the sources of this period, medieval history, are in Persian. Not a single source has been translated in English. Right now the situation, position is, in university we do not get boys even knowing Urdu. How can we teach them Persian? And how can they use Persian manuscripts? I have been telling this since many years. In every seminar I presided, I said, at least translate few important sources so that the progress of historical research in Deccan may develop. But nobody bothers. I am happy at least few of my scholars are taking interest. Tassin Bilgrami's book is definitely an addition to the existing books on medieval Dakar. I want to say this, this book has been divided. My friend Ramakrishna, Professor Ramakrishna has already given you the outline of this. She has written nine papers on culture and nine on education. We, while studying the culture of Hyderabad, mostly have avoided the cultural part of the Hyderabadi women. It is difficult for a man to take it up. Customs, costumes, jewelry, these are the subject which a lady can work well, not a gen. I am happy she has filled this gap. She has a very interesting paper in this book which deals with the customs, costumes and jewelries. Education. Bilgrami's greatest contribution to Hyderabad is the education system. Imadul Mulk, Sayyid Hussain Bilgrami. I will say he was the father of the education system in Hyderabad. It was he who held and opened new schools. It was he who planned the education of women. It was he who gave a scholarship for the, to the students to go to London and get progress their studies. It was he who have laid down the foundation of Hyderabadi, Hyderabad education. Whether it was Mother Se Aiza or Mother Se Aliyah or Nizam College. All are his landmarks. The nobility of Hyderabad is very proud of the contribution of the nobles of the Bilgrami family. Imadul Mul. Then we had Khilan, Mehdi Yajan, Ali Azgar Bilgrami, all of them very richly contributed. They were not Kishnists, all came from the Bilgrami family. A small place in North India migrated to Hyderabad. They lived here and made Hyderabad their homeland and contributed very richly. I congratulate Tassin Bilgrami. I am sure that is, this is his, her first book, but it's still her thesis has to be published, which is a very valuable work. I hope she will publish her thesis soon so that the people will know the contribution of Bilgrami's to the progress of culture and education in Hyderabad. Thank you very much.